hello, hello, hello. Uh, Christine Renee here from the Reiki Cafe University. Um, there was a question last night that came in from Tracy regarding um, spirits coming into sessions. And I wanted to give you that answer tonight. So I missed it last night. Um, and so her question reads, do you ever see spirit in your sessions? I've had several sessions where spirit comes in with messages or I actually see them. It can give me anxiety trying to figure out what they are telling me. How do you deal with it if you do see spirit? And then part two is how do you protect yourself? So there's a, a lot of little points. And so I try to write down thought processes because um, there could be, depending on where you're at, there could be a little bit different answers for where, where you are in this situation. So first off the beginning of this, um, do you ever see spirits in sessions? Yes. All the time. Um, I feel like this is a normal progression of Reiki practitioners, um, doing Reiki work. And the more you do Reiki, the more your own spiritual gifts will awaken and open. And so this is a very typical progression of, okay, I feel the energy. Now I tend to see the energy. Oh, now I see spirits. Now, like it starts to unfold before you in your practice. And usually that unfolding is in accordance to where you are at in your own healing process. So usually spirit, you know, universal divine love, light energy doesn't give you situations that, um, you're not ready for meaning like, for example, I, um, I was getting very comfortable with seeing spirits and, you know, clients would have different energies, angels, archangels, guys show up, show up all the time, but I wasn't really comfortable working with ghosts. Well, then I got a studio inside of a very old building, which used to be one of um, my town's old brothel buildings. Well, guess what? There were lots and lots of ghosts there, spirits that hadn't crossed over and that were stuck in this realm. And that coming into that space was very much like you are ready to help these spirits just as much as you're ready to help humans, um, in a physical human suit. Right. And so it was definitely a progression to that point and going, okay, this is where I'm at. How can I help? And getting to know those type of spirits made me very comfortable going, they're just stuck. <laughs> and so I had a time in my practice where I probably was doing home energy clearings and, um, helping open bridges, portals for these ghosts to cross over, um, as a regular part of my practice for a good nine months. And then the opportunity stopped because I had already worked through everything I needed to, to develop in my own career or my own personal practice with that. Right. And so, um, it typically opens with whatever you're ready for next. So if you are starting to hear messages, but it's not coming through clearly, having a meditative practice, getting in tune with your own Reiki guides and your own spirit team can be really helpful. Now, this isn't necessarily taught in typical Reiki classes, but because I do a lot of shamanic work as well, this is very much part of my practice where I want to get to know my Reiki guide. I want to get to know my spirit guides. I want to get to know my power animal and those type of things. So that when I'm in session, I have my guides, my protectors that I can call upon. And then really, you know, I feel really comfortable calling upon quote unquote, heavy lifters, angels, archangels, um, gods and goddesses, whatever, you know, deity, the client believes in. So if they're Christian, I'd call upon Jesus. If they're, they just came back from India, maybe it's Shiva, like whatever it is. Um, I, I'm really comfortable in that area too. So getting to know who's showing up for you, especially if it's very consistent, you might have a healer guide. You might have Archangel Raphael. Like, so getting to know and feeling comfortable with them is probably your next step to really understanding those gifts. Mm -hmm.